First question tonight is in the audience here. It's from Will Bertolow. Tony, the YMCA New South Wales Youth Parliament, of which 10 of us tonight were recently involved in, recently debated same-sex marriage, where it passed overwhelmingly 79 to 11. With recent landslide defeats in both the Senate and House of Representatives, do you think this is a younger generational issue, or do you think the tides will turn for the current Kelly generation? Kelly O'Dwyer. <laughs> Make a point here. Um, you voted no, you didn't have a choice. Well, well, certainly, I think this issue is a very complicated one. I mean, any social change is pretty complex. And I think it's right that we actually have a very strong community consensus when there is social change. And this is quite a significant social change. Now, we took a policy before the last election that there would be no change to the Marriage Act. Uh, we honour our promises, unlike the government. We think it's important to honour your promises when you are in a position where you are making promises to the electorate about what you will do if you are honoured with their trust in government. Now, we haven't so seen that, that... Can I just interrupt you there? Does that mean if you had the free choice, you would have voted no? Well, look, on the issue of the conscience vote, I think, I think uh, Tanya makes a very interesting point because um, the Labor Party made much of the fact that they had a conscience vote on this issue. They only decided, though, to have a conscience vote on this issue when it was very apparent that the party platform would change. The Labor Party platform binds parliamentarians, which would have meant that okay, all but, of the uh, Labor but, parliamentarians but what, but what would, would, what would your have conscience have dictated no, 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 but, to but this you is an personally. important point, though, Tony, because... If you had a conscience vote, no, what would you have but, voted? But, Tony, this just, if you can just let me finish this one point, because it is important... It would have meant, of course, that all of the Labor members of Parliament would have actually voted for a change to the Marriage Act if they had been bound. But the Prime Minister decided to be a little bit tricky and she decided to actually make a change. Um, and so she, she said that on this policy issue they would, would vote differently. Now, um, we made a commitment, as I said, uh, going into the next election, uh, we will no doubt talk about this issue again. Uh, civil unions may come up. I don't know if that's something that uh, the Labor Party is going to be bringing forward. I suspect that... Across OK, but just to bring you, because we haven't got a lot of time, uh, just to bring you to the point that I asked, if you had a conscience vote yourself, would you have voted yes or no? Well, I mean, it, it, it's a hypothetical question. I, I've been on the Your record... Your conscience is hypothetical? I, no, no, no. It's a hypothetical question as to how I would have voted. I mean, we... we Took a position as Would you a party be prepared to reveal publicly what your position is? Well, I have publicly stated my support for civil unions, and that's my public position. Okay. 